Hello everybody, it's Class Clown, and today we're going to be looking at the Sonar Joker figure from the Dark Knight Trilogy. Um, sorry for not uploading yesterday, I should have double uploaded yesterday, but today there will be a triple upload. Sorry about that, kind of had a busy, sorry, Saturday was busy, wait, no wait, Sunday was busy, and that was kind of day of rest. And then yesterday, kind of busy, and I also kind of forgot to do it. But beside the point, I'm here now, right? And we're going to look at this figure. Now, I do want to say, even though people don't really like this figure just because it's basically a translucent repaint, Force Ghost Joker, if you may, I actually really like him, surprisingly. I don't know what I'm going to use him for, but he's kind of grown on me in the past few months that I've had him. And, oh, he's kind of cool. But yes, he does like a, look like Force Ghost Joker. <laughs> um, I think I actually released a post that had him in it a while back ago, which was like with the black light on him. I don't know, I might... Oh, you know what would be awesome? Is if we did this review in black light. I don't know if I could do it, but let's let's just see. Me and you. Experimentation mode. Oh, look right there. This is a really cool idea if I would have thought of it earlier. Let's see this. see the camera picks up oh yeah that's cool so that's him with the black light if you can't tell he looks pretty nice oh you can't see up there hold on let me uh for the halloween season it is the ghost of joker past i don't know I'm sure that light is absolutely blinding to the camera. Anyway. So I'm just gonna... <clears throat> Sorry. Anyway. Voila! This is him being in black light. And, uh... Yeah, let's... Before we do the rest of this review in black light... Wait a minute. Will that work? That's not gonna work. Let's just go over a few of the details that are on him. Actually, let's go over the trading card first. Then I'll turn the black light on for articulation. This is the Sonar Joker trading card. Along with the back, which you can read. Alright. It's a nice. Hold on. It's a repaint, but he has a nice face. I like it. I like this vest right here with the white and the uh, the blue. I like his hair. I don't like how you can see some of his joints and like where the stuff sticks into. But he's basically the same Joker figure, but he's just translucent. I thought also he does have one punching hand and one uh, trigger finger hand. I would would have really liked if he came with a translucent crowbar or like a translucent pipe or whatever he used in that movie. I think that would have been a great idea. So, let's get on with the spooky review. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to do the rest of this in black light because I think it's a really, really cool concept. <clears throat> okay, so, as I was mentioning, you can see where his joints are, especially when it's in the black light. The black light, you can just see about every joint that he has. You can see his face. His face is one of the only things that really isn't translucent. I mean, still kind of trans... Or forget that you can't see the camera, but look, you can see his joints down here. His joints right here. And I'm going to do a review in this black light. Because it's spooky! <laughs> okay, so his head, 
I can go all, well, I can spin all the way around. I can bop it a little. I can go down. I can go up. Not that much up and down. His arms. Look, 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 watch. You see that? There is his joint. You can see it move in the black light. You see? Isn't that cool? I mean, just look at that. You can see, which, even though you can see his joints, it is still pretty cool to see the way that these figures work. His arm has a swivel. And then, he has this piece here that can bend. Sorry, I was a little stiff there for some reason. Not, probably because I haven't used them in a while. But... It is double jointed. Sorry, I'm just trying to straighten his arm out for y'all. There we go. Sorry. His hand can move all nice ways. All of the nice ways it can move. Yeah, it can, you know, do all the things a hand from uh, this brand figure can do. Which is just like, you know, move in and twist in and etc. He can look down, kind of. Of course, he can. This one actually, he can rotate very well. Um, his legs can. Well, that's, that's pretty good. His legs can stick out pretty far. About, about that far to be exact. Of course, he can do the splits. Double. Double jointed legs. Got them legs, you know what I'm saying? He's got foot articulation. I'm sorry, you can't really see, can you? You can go up and down and left and right. Of course, that toe articulation. Anyway, thank y'all for um, watching this video if you're watching it or if you're secretly spying on a hydro figure collection. But, I hope you enjoyed this. It was a fun review. I know the details are kind of like, I mean, I don't know if you can see them, but. Just look at that. I mean, I'm gonna grab the camera real quick. Hope I'm not blinding y'all, but just look at that. You almost see like his, his action figure skeleton. And I feel like that is amazing. Just look at that. Oh, yeah, yeah. It is just amazing. It's like Dr. Manhattan Joker. I don't know. But, I mean, just look at that. It's almost like a skeleton. You can really see the way that McFarlane puts these figures together, and I think it's really fantastic. So I get down in a different position. Anyway, I hope you really enjoy this review. I know I did just making it. I know, sorry. I know I enjoy making reviews for y'all, and I hope I can do it on a more regular basis. Um, but yeah, with that out of the way, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll be able to see the reviews that are coming up later in the day. Bye bye